Assalamualaikum. Today we will start our new topic that is hemoglobin. So the learning objectives of this lecture are discuss the steps of formation of hemoglobin. What are the various types of hemoglobin and discuss the metabolism of hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is the principal solid which is present inside the RBCs. It is the red colored oxygen carried pigment which is present inside the RBC. Its general statistics are in an average person, there is total 900 grams of hemoglobin present. 0.3 grams is destroyed per hour and 0.3 grams of the hemoglobin is synthesized per hour by the body. It is a globular protein. It consists of four heme subunits. Each heme molecule combines with successive oxygen molecules and in turn HB4O8 molecule is formed. One hemoglobin molecule contains four heme groups and each heme group contains one iron atom. So four heme groups contain four iron atoms which combine with four polypeptide chains. Each iron atom will combine with one molecule of oxygen. So four iron atoms will combine with four oxygen molecules and in turn HB4O8 molecule is formed. Hemoglobin has a capacity of transporting almost 97 to 98% oxygen to the tissues that combine chemically with hemoglobin. Now, how the hemoglobin is formed? Two molecules of the subcenyl OA are required, which are formed by the citric acid cycle or the Krebs cycle within the body. These two molecules of succinyl OA will combine with two molecules of the glycine in the presence of vitamin B6. And in turn, a pyrrole ring is formed. This is a pyrrole ring. Then four pyrrole rings will combine to form protoporphyrin 9. Protoporphyrin 9 combines with iron to form heme. Heme then combined with polypeptide chains to form hemoglobin chain, either alpha or beta. Now, the two alpha chains and the two beta chains will combine to form hemoglobin A. Hemoglobin A is the adult hemoglobin and it is present in almost 92% adult. This is the structure of the hemoglobin. One heme group containing single iron atom and each iron atom will combine with oxygen. Now, the types of the hemoglobin. Hemoglobin A is the adult hemoglobin present in almost 92% adults and it consists of two alpha chains and two beta chains. Each alpha chain is composed of 140 amino acids and each beta chain is composed of 146 amino acids. Now the hemoglobin A2, it consists of two alpha chains and two delta chains instead of two beta chains. And Alpha chains, 140 amino acids are present and in delta chains, 10 amino acids are different from the beta chain. It is present in almost 2.5% of the adults and mostly present in the beta thalassemia. Hemoglobin A1c, it is normally present in diabetic patients. Hemoglobin F, it consists of two alpha chains and two gamma chains. And in gamma chains, 37 amino acids are different from the beta chain. GOVA1 and GOVA2, they are present in early embryos. They are also called as embryonic hemoglobin. Now, the hemoglobin H. In hemoglobin A, hemoglobin H, there are excess beta chains that combine with each other to form HBH. And there is reduced alpha chains. So, it is present in alpha thalassemia. Now, the reactions of the hemoglobin. Hemoglobin combines with various compounds. For example, hemoglobin combines with oxygen to form oxyhemoglobin. The formation of the oxyhemoglobin depends on various factors. Whenever there is an increase in hydrogen ions or decrease in pH, that is acidosis, there is a rightward shift of the hemoglobin oxygen dissociation curve. That is, increase in hydrogen ions or low pH will cause more dissociation of the oxygen for the hemoglobin and Increased in pH or less hydrogen ions will result in formation of more oxyhemoglobin. Whenever there is an increase in temperature, there will be more dissociation of the oxygen hemoglobin dis dissociation curve. That is more release of the oxygen from the hemoglobin. And whenever the temperature is low, there will be 
four binding of the oxygen with the hemoglobin. So is the 2,3 biphosphoglycerate. Increased 2,3 biphosphoglycerate will cause rightward shift of the oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve. That is more dissociation of the oxygen from the hemoglobin or more release of the oxygen from the hemoglobin. Now, the met hemoglobin. There is a deficiency of the enzyme which is met hemoglobin reductase. This enzyme is required because iron pre is present in the oxidized form. And in this oxidized form is unable to transport oxygen to the tissues. This enzyme causes the reduction of the iron. But whenever there is deficiency of this enzyme, no reduction of the iron will take place and more oxidized form of the iron will be present. That is the ferric form, carboxy hemoglobin. Hemoglobin combines with carbon monoxide. It has 250 times more affinity to combine with the hemoglobin. It is present in the form of myoglobin in the muscles and in the form of neuroglobin in brain. Now, the hemoglobin production abnormalities. There are various hemoglobinopathies wherever there is an abnormal polypeptide chain formation. For example, in thalassemia, in beta thalassemia, there were more hemoglobin A2 in which two beta chains were replaced by the two delta chains having 10 different amino acids from the beta chain. And hemoglobin AH, more in case of alpha thalassemia, hemoglobin H is present in which more beta chains are present and they combine with each other to form hemoglobin H. And there is reduced formation of alpha chains. In sickle cell anemia, hemoglobin is sickle shaped and this sickle shaped hemoglobin will cause damage to the RBCs resulting in excessive hemolysis. Trait is also called as the it is not the disease but the person having sickle cell trait is carrying a gene of the sickle cell anemia either from single parent either from mother or from father. It can be treated with hemoglobin F but the most important treatment for the sickle cell anemia is bone marrow transplant. Now, the hemoglobin metabolism or the fate of the RBCs. After 120 days, RBCs membrane become fragile. We know that lifespan of the RBCs is 120 days. So, after 120 days, their membranes become fragile. They are taken up by the reticuloendothelial system. Reticuloendothelial system consists of monocytes and the mobile and fixed macrophages. Macrophages are present in the liver, spleen, and the bone marrow. Those which are located in the liver are called as Kupfer cells. 85% of the RBCs are removed by the reticuloendothelial system, and the remaining 15% of the hemolysis of the RBCs occur in circulation. Now, the steps of the hemoglobin metabolism. Hemoglobin within the macrophages is converted into the heme and the globin. This globin goes back into the general circulation for reuse and heme consists of the straight chain of four pyrrole nuclei. This heme will be acted upon by the heme oxygenase which will convert it into the biliverdin. Biliverdin is a green colored pigment and it is unstable. This biliverdin will be acted by biliverdin reductase which will convert it into bilirubin, unconjugated bilirubin. This unconjugated bilirubin is water insoluble and it is albumin bound. This unconjugated bilirubin will be transported from the macrophages into the blood and via blood they are transported to the liver for conjugation. Conjugation in the liver occurs along with uridine diphosphate glucuronic acid and it will convert unconjugated bilirubin into the bilirubin by the glucuronyl transferase enzyme. This conjugated bilirubin will pass via the bile duct into the intestine and this bilirubin within the intestine by the bacterial action it will be converted into the urobilinogen and urobilinogen into the stercobilinogen and the stercobilin that is excreted in feces. Small amount of the urobilinogen is deabsorbed into the systemic circulation and the 5% preabsorbed goes back to the kidney. Then by the oxidation, it is converted into the urobilin, which is excreted in urine. This has shown the 
fate of the hemoglobin. When RBCs become fragile, they are taken by reticuloendothelial system. Here it is converted into heme. Heme is acted upon by the heme oxygenase, which will convert it into bilirubin. Bilirubin is an unstable pigment, green colored pigment, and it is acted upon by the bilirubin reductase, which will convert it into the unconjugated bilirubin. It is released by the macrophages in the plasma and taken up by the liver via blood. Within the liver, conjugation occurs by the glucuronyl transferase enzyme and it will convert into the conjugated bilirubin. This conjugated bilirubin is transferred into the intestines where by the bacterial action they are converted into the urobilinogen, into the stercobilinogen and ultimately into the stercobilin. This stercobilin will be excreted in feces. Some amount of the urobilinogen is reabsorbed back into the systemic circulation and within the kidneys, almost 5% is converted into the urobilinogen by oxidation. Small amount of the urobilinogen is reabsorbed into the systemic circulation and almost 5% reabsorbed goes to the kidneys where it is converted by the oxidation into the urobilin and urobilin is excreted in urine. 